We're going to move on to the Hobie hat trick thoughts. And this is where uh, we'll, we'll know for sure on Friday. And it is a tight race. Let's let's face it. It's a tight race. I think, you know, you can ask a lot of different people um, who should be uh, who should be the Hobie Baker winner. And you might get some different opinions. You can make arguments for these players. The Hobie hat trick, however, is if you didn't know. Jackson Blake from the University of North Dakota, Macklin Celebrini from Boston University, and Cutter Goche from Boston College. No Will Smith, the NCAA's leading scorer, not part of the Hobie hat trick. Highly controversial. I uh, certainly thought that Will Smith should have been in that mix. I think especially how he played down the stretch and having a nine-point tournament uh, or semifinal and final uh, between those two games. In the Hockey East, I thought that would solidify him as a Hobie hat trick finalist. Didn't happen that way. But I do think this is going to come down to Celebrini and Gauthier. They are tied for second score, second leading scorers in the country, 64 points each of them. The interesting dynamic there is that, you know, obviously Celebrini is the younger of the two players, younger by two years. And played in two fewer games. So he has a higher points per game average. Only Will Smith has a better points per game average than Celebrini, who has a 1.73, which is very similar to Jack Eichel's. Uh, it's a little bit behind Jack Eichel's and a little bit behind Adam Fantilli's from their own Hobie Baker winning seasons. Of course, Celebrini still has games to play. I think with Jackson Blake not being in the national final, uh, the vote was already tallied up uh, after the regionals, but... Either way, I think that uh, Jackson Blake, um, you know, not being part of that will will certainly, um, you know, probably move him out. He was fourth in the country with 60 points um, behind both Goche and Celebrini. Now, Celebrini has 32 goals. Goche has 37. Goche has also has the year of seniority. And sometimes the Hobie Baker, the Hobie Baker committee is going to lean towards guys that have come back to school, that had pro opportunities. They like that. However, you look at Goche and he is the second leading scorer on his team. He is the second of, uh, you know, tied for a second in the country with Celebrini. And then he also has three other teammates in the top six of the top scorers in the country. And so while he doesn't play on a line with those players, this is a team that, you know, scores a lot and they have a lot of star power. So can you can definitively say that Cutter Goche was the best player on his team even? That's the thing that makes it a little more argument. I would say that he was probably, in terms of the amount of goals that he scored, the quality of the goals that he scored, um, 10 game-winning goals this year, like all these different things, 37 goals, highest goal-scoring season in 20 years, is pretty significant. It's it's not nothing. It's, it's why he has a great chance. However, if I'm looking at this and I'm thinking about a player's value to their team, I'm going to say, well, Celebrini, quite clearly to me, was the best player on his team. By a lot. He was the most significant player by a lot. He doesn't have as many game winning goals, but he also won 53% of his face offs, if that matters to you. You know, he, he's, he had 32 goals and 32 assists. He has 1.73 points per game. He's 17 years old. The Hobie discussion every year gets twisted. And I remember last year, Adam Fantilli were there, you know, he had a game misconduct. So should he, you know, the, the criteria for the Hobie award is not who scored the most points. It's not who was the most outstanding player on his team. It isn't even who is the most outstanding player in college hockey. There's also, you know, who has high character, who has done ac academically. I don't have their transcripts. I don't know how they did academically, but either way, if I'm judging strictly between Gauthier and Celebrini, and again, the vote the vote is done. We are we don't know who it is, but the vote is done. Thursday's results cannot impact the vote at all. So if I'm judging those two based on the collection of evidence that I have for right now, my choice by the slimmest of margins would be Macklin Celebrini. I just think that his importance to Boston University exceeds the importance of Cutter Gauthier's to Boston College. That's not to take anything away from Goche, who I think has had one of the best goal scoring seasons that there's been in a long, long time. I think both are going to be exceptional pros. I think they're both going to be star players at the next level. But if we're looking and judging on the on the facts that we have, to me, Macklin Celebrini is the clear choice 